Hi, today I'm going to take you through building a Maven project using Adobe's multi-module Maven archetype for Adobe AEM. The first step we want to do is verify that we have Java installed. Uh, so I have one six. Uh, the next thing we want to do is verify that we have Maven installed. So I'm going to check my Maven version. Um, I have it installed. If you don't have Maven installed, you can very easily download and install it from maven.apache.org. And you can feel, and feel free to use the latest version here. Uh, after we have Maven installed, you'll want to make sure that your settings.xml file uh, has the Adobe public repositories listed. Uh, and these allow Maven to download uh, all of the CQ uh, and AEM specific uh, dependencies required to create the archetype as well as build your project afterwards. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open mine. Uh, it's typically located in the user's M2 uh, folder. I've actually already added the public repositories to my XML file. Um, I'll go ahead and add this XML file to the show notes uh, so you can go ahead and copy and paste it in wholesale or take what pieces you need. Um, so after we verified that our settings.xml file is up to snuff, uh, all we have to do is issue a maven uh, generate archetype command which will create the project for us. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this in. One thing to note is I'm using version 1.0.2 of the archetype. If there are newer versions, uh, I encourage you to use those. And I will also be adding this command to the show notes as well, so uh, you can copy and paste this in. So it does prompt us for a little bit of information, so I'm going to go ahead and put the group ID uh, for my project in. And this is just going to be uh, con.adobe.amcasts. Uh, my artifact ID, and I'm going to call this amcast demo. Uh, the version is fine. Uh, the package I'm going to update to be amcast.demo. Uh, the apps folder name, I'm actually going to break this out a little bit. So uh, under my apps folder, I'm going to have an AEMcast folder and beneath that a demo folder where I can put my uh, AEMcast demo application. Uh, the artifact name, I'm just going to call this AEMcast project. I call it demo project. Uh, the pack or the package group here. This is what's going to show up for our package after we install it in CRX's uh, package manager. So I'm going to call this AM casts. Uh, all this information looks pretty good. So I'm going to hit yes, and my project has been created. So if I take a look here, you can actually see that it's built out a project structure for me. So I'm going to jump over to the finder and drill in here. Uh, so we have three projects. We have the parent reactor project, which is uh, represented by this POM here. Um, the bundle project is going to contain all of the Java files. Uh, so our uh, OSGI services, our servlets, our filters, um, authentication handlers, uh, classes, POJOs, all that fun stuff. Um, so that, that'll be in this bundle. Um, and as you can see here, uh, it's actually built out um, the folder structure based on the package name that I provided. And it also will add uh, a few sample classes as well. The content project is going to contain all the content uh, that's going to be installed into uh, CRX uh, when we actually push this project wholesale. Um, so as you can see, it really comes down to the contents of this JCR folder. Uh, and it pre-populates it with um, apps, AEM, cast slash demo, uh, which I specified, uh, and then it also puts the install and config folders as well. Uh, one thing to note when I do build this project, um, I'm going to specify that it builds the content package, and that is going to actually uh, build the bundle as well, and then uh, add the bundles artifact, which is the OSGI bundle, um, into its install folder. So I have a, a very unified um, method for deploying my CQ application. All right, so all that's well and good, so let's try it out here. So first of all, I'm going to just show that uh, this project builds. So I'm, I'm the parent project here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and package it. And we have a build success. So Maven is, is able to actually build this project just fine. The next thing we want to do is verify that we can push it directly into CQ. So I'm going to issue a Maven clean install. And I'm going to pick a special profile provided by the um, Adobe Palms. Um, and it's called Auto Install Package. 
and this is going to install it to my localhost 4502. Um, using the version 1.02 of the archetype, I could also pick uh, auto install package publish to push it to localhost 4503. Um, and of course, all of those hosts and ports are configurable um, via Maven parameters or via the POMs. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. As you can see here, we have a build success. That's great. And you can see here that it is actually pushing our zip artifact from the content um, project to localhost 4502 CRX package manager. So I'm gonna jump over here and I'm going to navigate to my package manager and refresh. And you can see it actually did push um, this new package into, uh, into the package manager and it is installed. Uh, the next thing we want to verify here is uh, that our bundle is installed properly. So I just filtered and we have our AEM cast demo project bundle and it is active. And the last thing to verify here is that the rest of the content structure uh, was deployed. So I'm going to refresh my apps folder and now I have AEM cast demo config um, as well as the install folder and as you can see it did put the jar file here, and that's why we're able to see it uh, and it's installed uh, via the Felix console. So there you have it. There's a few uh, more things you can do with it, but this should get you started. Thanks.